Coming up on this week, the state's higher education budget takes center stage, LSU Eunice's Rat Tech graduates are perfect again, and Odd Rod is coming to campus. Welcome to This Week, I'm Michaela. The state's upcoming legislative session will have to tackle a possible $380 million cut to higher education. Governor Bobby Jindal hasn't said much about the possible cuts or what his upcoming budget proposal would include. His office is standing firm on not raising taxes to cover the shortfall, so the governor will have to cut spending to balance the budget. He'll announce his budget proposal to the legislator at the end of February. Several rumors are floating around about possible closures of campuses and ending programs like the newly established WISE Fund set up to pay for college programs that produce high demand jobs in Louisiana and the TOPS program. While no one is sure what the governor plans to cut, State Treasurer John Kennedy provided us this statement in support of TOPS. TOPS is one of the finest government programs that I have ever been a witness to. Um, it has helped more bright young men and women stay in Louisiana than anything Louisiana state government has ever done. I know it's expensive. We spend between 150 to, and 200 million dollars a year on tops. It's money well spent. I wish it were costing twice what it costs now. Why? Because that would mean that our young people are taking advantage of it and furthering their education. Tops makes sense for a couple of reasons. First, uh, Louisiana is not a wealthy state. We're rich in a lot of things that are important, but economically sometimes we struggle. And uh, not everybody can afford to go to college on their own. TOPS helps them. We tell our young people, look, we live in a global knowledge-based economy. Uh, uh, school matters. We t tell our young people, go to school, get a, get a degree. You have to have it to compete. Uh, by by uh, reducing the TOPS program, we'll be telling our kids, okay, we're, we're not going to do our part to help you. So TOPS is important. TOPS has also done more to keep bright young people in Louisiana than anything I've, I've seen us do in the last 50 years. We're losing a lot of bright young people. Uh, if we keep losing uh, our young folks, the, the average age in Louisiana is going to be deceased. And we're losing them to Denver and Dallas and Atlanta. They, they go away to school or they go there to get a job. TOPS help, helps keep those young people here in Louisiana. It's a good program. Look, I understand that there are financial problems in state government. We're having budget problems. When haven't we had budget problems? But we need to leave TOPS alone. It's working. It's helping our young people further their education. It's keeping young people in Louisiana. At this time, it is too early to tell what the state legislator and the governor are planning to do with next year's higher education budget. We'll have more when the legislative session starts next month. Our Rat Tech graduates are perfect once again. Trevante explains. Radiologic technology graduates cannot work until they pass the national board exam, and LSU units graduates have a high success rate when taking the board exam. This past year, the class of 2014 recorded a 100% pass rate on the first attempt taking the exam. The national pass rate average for the first attempt is 88.9%. The graduates do very well um, this year in particular where they um, outscored the, the national mean and they also outscored the um, pass rate on the first attempt, which is a, a, a high achievement. And all I can do is thank all my faculty of the program and um, other colleagues on campus that help prepare them in the prerequisite courses. LSU Unisys graduates have one of the best track records in the state and nation on the board exams. 14 of the 22 classes that have come through the Unis program have all passed the board exam on their first attempt. Well, the success is, it speaks for itself. We've had a very high success rate. Um, we keep getting the, the students who are interested to go pursue the program. We've had many advance into other imaging modalities. They've done very well. Most of the people who have gone through the program over the past 20 years have maintained their, this career. Um, so it's important to the community that uh, we support that and we do listen to our advising um, committee board to get the right items into place 
that they need to know and learn, um, as well as following the guidelines and standards from our accrediting agency and licensure. LSU unit students graduate from the program in May and have three months after graduation to take the board exam. Students are not allowed to take the exam until after graduation. McLaughlin said he and his faculty encourage that graduates take the exam as soon as possible while the information is still fresh. Back to you, Michaela. Thanks, Trevante. Now, let's take a look at some important upcoming dates. Poet Odd Rod will be on campus Friday, February 6th at noon in the Union. The Campus Activities Board is sponsoring Odd Rod and they have a host of other events coming up this spring. CAB recently returned from the Association of Promotional Campus Activities Regional Conference where they won the Organization of the Year Award for the region. My mom was on drugs. When I wrote back in high school, my mom was on drugs. And when I graduated college, my mom was on drugs. Now today I've been on tour and my mom is at home, shedding tears of inspiration as she listens to poems. Joy was just beyond the mountain you can easily climb. I never gave up on my mama, we just needed some time. CAB now has a chance to attend and compete at the National Conference in Jacksonville, Florida. We'll have more on their trip to the National Conference as it gets closer. Singer-songwriter Kevin Mack will be coming to campus as the first event in the Spring Performing Arts Series. She's got long dark hair, legs jacked that Jesus make a preacher want to stare. She is country class, her favorite singer is Johnny Cash. She drives a pickup truck, she got a snapback six pack looking for a buck. She'll set a room on fire, reminds me of Reba McIntyre. She is a southern belle. Mac is a country music artist. He'll perform at 6.30 on Wednesday, February 11th in the Health Technology Building. The performance is free to LSU Eunice students. That's it for this week at LSU Eunice. We'll be back next week with another look at what's going on around campus.